Welcome back to Technologies. This is a brand new install series videos and this series contains some of the common installations which can be reused in some of the upcoming or future videos. And also it can be used as a standalone installation video guides for your development. In this video, I will install Nginx server, one of the most popular server. What and why Nginx? Nginx is a free and open source software that can be used as a web server, a reverse proxy, load balancer and HTTP cache. It was created by Igor Siso and publicly released in 2004 under class 2 BSD license. In terms of web server, it is comparable with Apache which was uh, released somewhere, the initial release was somewhere in 1995 and Nginx first release was in 2004. As a web server, it is comparable with Apache. However, Nginx is more than a web server. As I mentioned, it can be used as a reverse proxy, load balancer and HTTP cache. Nginx wins in terms of lightweight and high performance. The Nginx architecture is based on asynchronous and event driven. Nginx mainly supported on most of the flavors of Linux and partially supported for Windows. I will cover the partially supported version of Windows. Let's dive into install process. Okay, let's get the Nginx bi binary. Let's go to our run Google and look for download Nginx for Windows. So Nginx comes with uh, two flavors. One is commercial which contains more support and feature rich dashboard. The other one is open source version. We will take the open source version. right? So Nginx ORG. Click on this. So you will be talk, you will be your or taken to the download version download page with the multiple versions uh, let's look for the recent one stable version okay so mainline version is 1.21.5 1.20.2 let's go ahead and download this okay let's put it in downloads it is downloaded. Let's go ahead and copy this into C drive. Okay. Uh, copy and unzip this. Okay. We are unzipped it. Go to this one. So, um, the entire structure of the Nginx is pretty simple. It's got logs on the HTML, the static content, and docs, contrib, and con conf. The conf is the one where we have all of the configurations. The main one is Nginx configuration. There are some other things like pass CGA, all other stuff we have. Okay, let's go back. And the logs where it, uh, create, it generates a log while it's running. Okay, so this file is a pre-compiled executable. You do not find any bin because there is a exe executable file. So as soon as you double click this, this process has a background process and uh, it will generate a PID and uh, you can use command line to kill that process if you want to stop it. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and run this. Okay it's running in the process so as soon as it start running you will be able to see the logs you you are able to see the log and there is a pad file okay let's test this in order to test we need to point the browser to localhost 80 the default configuration contains port 80 with one static HTML file 
which is available in HTML directory which I showed earlier. Let's go ahead and do that. Say localhost. We can say 80, but uh, 80 we don't have to mention that. Congratulations, you have successfully downloaded and installed Nginx on Windows. So if you see this page, that means your Nginx is up and running, ready to serve on port 80. So port 80 is a default, you don't have to mention that. Okay. Okay. Uh, let us inspect what happened and how it's running right. As I was saying, your HTML content is here. This is the one which has um, with the content of this page. Say hello, I'll say open with this. So this is the content you are seeing there. Okay. And also I mentioned that this runs as a process and uh, there is a PID process ID will be created. So how do you find that? I'll open this PID file. And you can find 6732. So let's go ahead and see. Go to details and say ng so you will 6732. There's one more, I think that's a parent process 6732. Right? So, this is how it runs it runs in the background and it serves a static content. Now, let's go ahead and um, I want to stop this, it's fine, it's okay. Some reason I would like to stop this. So what I do, I'll go back to this and put this command Linux minus s quit. So this is a process of quit. It will take a couple of minutes to couple of seconds to stop the process. So while it's doing it, let's inspect once again whether the process ID is showing that the detail, right? Let's go ahead and say it's not. I believe you refresh this page, you should not be able to see the content. Yeah, done. Thank you. So this is about stopping the service. Starting is just clicking on the service and uh, once it uh, starts, it goes and returns as a service. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and also please follow me on my Twitter.